Okay, so once you've taken a minute to write out what you want in your website, be it for a company website or a personal website or a landing page for a product, we're gonna copy it all and we're gonna go to ChatGPT and then we are going to write this. You are a top level prompt engineer. I want you to write me a prompt for an AI coder that's gonna code a website for my company based on these specifications. And then you're just gonna paste what you wrote earlier. So here it is, and ChatGPT spits out a prompt. So we're gonna copy that prompt, and then we're just gonna close ChatGPT. So now we'll go to Lovable, and we're gonna paste it into Lovable, and it's gonna ask us to sign up for free. So we're gonna sign up, and I'll just sign into my account because I already have one. Okay, so once you've signed up and you've signed in, we're going to send this prompt. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes and it's finished the first prompt and it looks like it came back with a bug, but no worries because we're just gonna click try to fix and it will fix itself. Okay, so it's done. It's only been about 10 seconds since I clicked fix bug and we have our website. Gertrude Cheese Manufacturing, artisanal cheese crafted with tradition since 1948, blah, 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 blah. We have signature cheeses and then we have a lot of stuff. And then we have this page where we can click products and it will bring us to each product page, which it has already made for us. And then at the bottom, we have the links that I wanted to put. So contact us, explore. And then what you essentially want to do is because none of these are actually real for your company, right? You want to fix it. So you're going to tell it like, say, change the phone number to whatever, change the email to, and then uh, like link the Facebook icon to, and then you're going to put your Facebook address, that kind of thing. And then you're done. You have your website. So we're going to move on to the next step, which is how to connect it to a domain. Okay, so first step to connecting it to your domain is we are going to click this little icon here and you click transfer project to GitHub. And we are going to create it in our GitHub account. If you don't have a GitHub account, just go to GitHub and then you're going to click sign up here. Okay, it's going to say this project is connected to your username slash and then the project name. So we're going to now go to Vercel, which is what we're going to use to host our website. And it's going to be completely free. So we're going to need to make an account here too. So you just need to make an account. And I recommend you make a Vercel account with your GitHub account because that's going to make this step much easier. So we're going to go to add new and click project. And then we're just going to import the Git repository. So this one, and then we're going to scroll down and click deploy. Okay. About 10 seconds later, it has deployed and we're going to click continue to dashboard. So here we can see, we already have a website and it is viewable by anyone. So you can open an incognito window, paste it in, and it's going to go to your website. It's already deployed and you can already share that with anyone. But I know that most of you would want to have your own domain. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now we go to settings, domains, add, and then you're going to want to type in your domain name. So just for testing purposes, I've typed in test dot my own website. And then what it's going to show you here is set the following record on your DNS provider to continue. So that looks very complicated, but don't worry. It's really simple. We're going to go to our, the place we bought our domain. We're going to click manage, and then we're going to click advanced DNS. And this might be different if you bought it on a different website, but just look for DNS. And then we're going to go down and add new record. And then we're going to go back to Vercel and see what they told us to add and just follow it directly. So for me, it's going to be CNAME test and then CNAME.Vercel-DNS.com. So just type that in CNAME test CNAME dot. And then I'm just going to click the tick. And then we just have to go back to Vercel and wait a few minutes. Okay. So it's been about 20 seconds and it is done. We're just going to wait for it to generate SSL certificate and then we can already go to our website. Okay. So now that it's done, we can test it. So test.gerardpoon.com. And here, here's your cheese website. Hope that was helpful. If you found this useful, then it would mean the world to me if you dropped a like and subscribed and checked out my other videos.